Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Johnny and I am at the office of Joseph Cotton from Allstate today and I'm going to sit down with him and just ask him a few questions about uh, homeowners insurance and uh, stuff to do with insurance and real estate and uh, hopefully clear up a few things for you. Uh, let's just start I guess. Okay. Um, hey, this is Johnny Mendez with Buck and Associates and I'm here with my friend Joseph from Allstate and uh, I just got a couple questions for him about homeowners insurance. Uh, I'm going to start off real easy for you Joseph. Uh, what does homeowners insurance cover? Sure. Well, homeowners insurance covers direct physical loss to your home. The key phrase the policy uses is sudden and unforeseen event. So that would include things like wind damage, fire damage, theft, vandalism, sudden pipe burst. Home insurance covers the dwelling, which is the main permanent structure, as well as the contents in your home, along with a couple other various miscellaneous items. Cool. So judging by the wording you use there, it sounds like there are a few things that wouldn't be covered. That's correct. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. What would be a couple examples of those? Well, a couple things that um, <clears throat> insurance is not going to deal with is any kind of wear and tear or maintenance related item. Keep in mind the phrase I used, sudden and unforeseen. So any type of things that happen over a period of time, deterioration, like I said, wear and tear, these are not sudden and unforeseen, so they're not going to be covered. That's one reason why a home warranty is such a great idea, mm -hmm. because these home warranty does cover things that break down over time, yeah. maintenance items, kind of wear and tear. Gaps there. Exactly. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, you kind of mentioned uh, there like a pipe bursting. Sure. I wanted to ask you because I've actually had, um, well, I've heard of other agents like, you know, having like an open house and they have a cleaning crew through and they'll knock over the bidet and then like it leaks over and just, you know, whole mess. Um, I wanted to ask you if something does happen, like a pipe burst or something like that, um, and it gets left there for a couple of days and, you know, causes some residual damage because of the water, no one's tending to it. Would that something like that be covered under um, homeowners insurance? Sure. So typically, <clears throat> the way my rule of thumb is, if there's, if it's been short enough time where there's no mold mm -hmm. or rot or rust that's okay. developed, then there's going to be no problem in having it covered. Mm -hmm. If it's something that's a that was a sudden burst at the time, even if it's a couple of days or a week or two mm -hmm. before it's discovered, mm -hmm. it, generally that's something that's going to be covered because it's okay. still sudden and unforeseen. Even if it takes a little bit for it to be discovered. discovered. Sure. Now, if it if it's a leak that happens in the wall that's over a long period of time, mm -hmm. um, and say you have you're, you're doing a remodel and you discover some some wood, some water damage, some rot, some mold, um, and it's obviously ha occurred over a long period of time, mm -hmm. that's something that often will not be covered because of the the length of the of, of the damage taking place. Okay. And, and um, so it can be a little tricky there. Interesting. Okay. So. Um, I want to ask you, so uh, like, what would what could you do to protect against something like that? The main thing I recommend people is to say, just to, to be aware that that's something that's not covered, and uh -huh. try as best you can to check areas of the house that are that are you don't normally see. Mm -hmm. If you're walking down the hallway, you're going to see a water spot in the ceiling, so you're going to take care of that quickly. Yeah. But in the corner of a bathroom or the, the back corner of a garage, you may not check all those areas. I recommend everybody go through the whole house, check corners. Check um, every part of the drywall and just, just periodically make sure there's no water spots so that you don't have any random leaks happening. Yeah, um, sure. That's the best way to prevent it because it's often places that people just won't notice the water spots. Mm -hmm. And then they get six months, a year down the road, they discover this water damage. Mm -hmm. Something that homeowners insurance doesn't so cover. Like it's a big... Preventative maintenance is it, probably the best thing to do. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Awesome. So while we're on the uh, topic of water... Um, you know, outside of the property, there are those lines that go to the county hookup, the sewer lines, water lines, whatever it may be. If one of those bursts and there's some damage because of that, is that covered under like a normal home, insur home insurance policy? It's a good question because it's something that happens all the time. If if the lines between the house and the city hookup were to be clogged, say say they got a root, some roots grew through them, which is very common. Uh, uh, having roots or some type of growth come through the pipes is extremely common. Sure. If it caused a backup in the home, home insurance will typically cover it because okay. most home policies, most agents put what's called water backup, which covers damage inside the home mm -hmm. from the water, sewer or water lines being clogged up. Okay. However, the replacement of those lines between the city hookup and the house itself, homeowner's insurance almost always will not cover. This is something you can get protected though by your water or power utility. They, okay. they typically sell coverage for that for a couple bucks a month. So that's that's not bad. That's something that you'll get a lot of information when you buy a home. Mm -hmm. You'll get a lot of information trying to get you to buy that coverage. Mm -hmm. And I recommend all my clients purchase that because it's something that home insurance almost always will not cover. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Definitely. Um, that's something you don't want to find out the hard way. No. <laughs> and I've had clients do that, and it's it's unfortunate. They didn't 
They didn't. We didn't have that conversation before. It's too late. <sighs> That's horrible. <laughs> Um, what about um, floods? Um, I know because you know we got hit with some crazy floods over in Arlington, like Absolutely. Near Westover. We, you know, there was like pictures on Instagram of people like in canoes going down oh, yeah. the street. I it mean, was, it was nuts. I, I didn't even think it was like uh, Northern Virginia. It looked right. like some other, you know, looked like not not here. But absolutely. Um, what about that? Like, like let's say you know you said um, homeowners insurance covers sudden events. You know. A flood is sudden, would that be covered? Well, that's a good question because there are a few exceptions to the sudden and unforeseen events okay. that are covered. Flood being one of them. <clears throat> flood is something that homeowners insurance, no matter who you're with, flood, flood is not covered by homeowners insurance. Flood is defined as any overflow of inland or tidal waters, uh, unusual runoff such as flash flooding, or a mudslide. Those are the three kind of main categories when it comes to uh, definition of flood. So. If, if water comes through the house, whether it be from overflow, runoff, flash flooding, even if it seeps through the foundation, that's all going to be considered flood and homeowners insurance will not cover it. Uh, co flood coverage is available through FEMA. Uh, FEMA's program, the National Flood Insurance Program. Allstate is a partner of, with NFIP, so we, we do offer flood insurance through that FEMA program. Okay. Great. So, so you can add on. even if I'm not in a flood zone, because I know if I'm in a flood zone, a lot of times lenders may even require flood insurance. Um, if I'm not in a flood zone, would you recommend, you know, some sort of flood insurance? Absolutely, because <clears throat> FEMA says, um, has consistently said for um, as long as I can remember, I've been doing this for 15 years, mm -hmm. they say, they've consistently said that the claims they pay year in and year out, about a quarter of them consistently are in low-risk flood zones. Okay. So that means zones that are not required by the lender to carry flood insurance. Mm -hmm. um, zones where, that, are, that carry preferred pricing, so not only... You still have a, a risk of getting flooded. It's it's a more for, more affordable price as well than if you were in a flood zone. Got you. Okay. Well, uh, I think that's enough for now. I mean, that's a lot of information to process. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's some good info. I mean, uh, I don't think a lot of people would know. Like, you know, you would ex expect anything that happens with the home, homeowners insurance would cover. Right. Um, but you got to read b between the lines, and you got to get with somebody like Joseph who's going to explain everything to you. Exactly. Um, so if anybody wants to reach out to Joseph for any sort of insurance quote, I know he does auto, he does home, he does everything. Um, I'm going to leave a link to his information in the description and uh, feel free to reach out to him. That's great. Uh, I definitely uh, recommend clients to him because uh, I've seen what he does and how, you know, he's a genuine guy, so I appreciate that. And, um, you know, so if there's anything else you want to add, uh, I think that's it for no, us. That's great. And anybody, if you ever have any questions or need any help with anything, I'm happy, happy to be of service to any of, of Johnny's customers. Um, even if they're not my customer right now, I'll be ha glad, happy to help out, and maybe that'll that'll lead to a, a bigger relationship in the future. But e even if it doesn't, I'm I'm here to help, and uh, I'm glad to have this talk here with Johnny. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, if you have anything to add or you have any questions for us, feel free to reach out, and uh, we look forward to helping you out. Thank you so much to Joseph for allowing me into his office. Uh, this is something I'm going to start doing a little more often: is just meeting with vendors and uh, talking with them, and you know, getting their perspective on things and not just so much my opinions or other realtors' opinions. Um, I want you to hear it from the mouth of somebody who does this every single day. Obviously, I'm not an expert in everything. I can't be. You know, it's impossible. Um, I do real estate. That's my expertise.